Welcome to Rainbow Network Media. Please kindly subscribe to this channel for interesting news. Thank you all for listening. Militants from the Islamic State backed faction of Boko Haram, the Islamic State West African Province, Iswa, on Monday mounted roadblocks in some parts of Bono State area where the checkpoints were mounted by the terror group include Mali 40 along Maiduguri Majaram Road and Wajiroko along Dambuk Bill Road. Saul said the insurgents were on the highway checking on travelers identity cards to fish out security operatives traveling in Mufti. They were also issuing tax receipts to defaulters, another source confirmed. According to Sahara reporters, that had it that in several reports in 2021 reported how Iswap had been taxing residents of Bono, Adamawa, and Yobi State. Source said failure of the residents to comply with the directive attracted the death penalty. The terrorist group also lifted the ban imposed on fishing and farming activities in the Lake Chad area three years after chasing people out of the area for allegedly spying for Nigeria. It's true. Nevertheless, it imposed new taxes and levies in the area controlled by Iswad Boko Haram to regulate trades and agricultural activities. Several fishermen, farmers, and merchants had returned to the Lake Charge area to engage in the social economic activities under the agreement of the new Iswad Boko Haram leadership. Since the death of the leader, uh, their leader, Abu Bakr Shekau, Iswab has been consolidated its griefs in location around Lake Chad. Just recently, it appointed Walid Sonny Shuwama, a 45-year-old, as the new leader of Iswab in Lake Chad. The set members has swollen with the defection of hundreds of Boko Haram fighters under Shekel. The Nigerian army has repeatedly claimed that insurgency had been largely defeated and the military frequently underplays any losses. The terror group has caused over 100,000 deaths and displaced millions of individuals, mainly in Adamawa, Bono, and Yobe State. Uh, so guys, the issue of this terrorist group, Iswap and Boko Haram, is a pathetic one. Uh, is the report had it that, uh, that they have mounted some areas uh, causing roadblocks uh, in the area to in searching uh, searching vehicles to see if there are security operatives in any vehicle, checking them, checking the part, their particulars to know if there's any security operatives on Mufti. Also, they said that. Uh, they want to fish out security personnel uh, because they know that they are they are uh, out for them. So, guys, what do you think concerning the insecurity situation facing uh, the country? It's a very it's very serious and pathetic situation 
and it's most unfortunate. Let's know your own comments. Please drop your comments at the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe uh, to this channel for more updates. Thank you all for listening.